Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I wanted to share with you some of my new in items in my wardrobe. Some things I've picked up in the sale and a few things that are new in. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and get a little bit of wardrobe inspiration from it. So first place I'm going to start with is Topshop and the first item I have is a little jumper and this is really similar to one of my favourite jumpers from H&M which I would be very sad if it were to die. So when I found this I was quite happy that it was in the sale and it looks reasonably similar. This one's acrylic, my H&M one is wool. It's more likely that something's going to happen to a wool jumper like get shrunk <laughs> by accident or something. Yeah I'm really happy with this. I do have to definitely be wearing makeup with this though because it's that sort of oatmeal-y colour that when you're really pale can just make you look completely dead. As long as I've got some sort of colour in my face then it's alright. <laughs> then I found a pair of jeans in the sale at Topshop. Um, I found these when I actually went in the store and I think they're pretty much sold out online which is very annoying but they might not be by the time um, this video goes up and I'll try and link them. Um, but they're basically like cargo style denim but I tried them on and I just they just felt so nice and just so easy and um, I've literally worn them every day since buying them so that's a good a good sign that they were worth the purchase and it's very easy to style up actually I was surprised I then picked up a few items of jewelry from Topshop which I almost never do one of them I actually have on at the moment it's like a gold chain thing I also got this little bracelet which has a little is that a coin I don't know it's got something on there but I just quite like the chunkiness of it and then I also picked up this super chunky necklace which I just thought was very cool and I've wanted the Masoma chunky necklace for a long time and I actually bought it and returned it because I couldn't justify the money. <laughs> um, and this was £10. So I was like, I'm going to give it a go. And I really like them. The next place I picked a few things up in was Zara. And I did a massive order from their sale and sent pretty much all of it back. <laughs> One of the things I kept was this suede bag that has tassels as one of the handles. But I don't think I'd carry it like that. I don't know. I nearly didn't keep it because this strap was super long, but I just sort of tied it in a knot at the moment. And I'm just, I don't know, I'm going to figure it out somehow. But I love suede bags that are in this colour. And they're actually really hard to find nice ones. And I have one from Zara that's very old and the strap is about to break. So I've actually been on the search for a bag like this for a while. And it's also got a decent amount of size inside the bag and then this next item wasn't in the sale at Zara but I just saw it and I had to get it because it is a stripy top with a nice neckline <laughs> whenever I see a stripy top with a good neckline I just can't resist I wore this top with the Topshop jeans I got the other day and it was a very cute little outfit it's in like a charcoal -y grey stripe. I don't know if you can see it. So it's quite nice. I just love how chunky the stripes are on it. I think it's really cool. Then finally for Zara in the sale I found a pair of high-waisted flared skinny jeans and when I found these I was so happy. They were $15.99 in my exact size and I couldn't find any anywhere else in that pile of just sale stuff in Zara which is just so overwhelming. I've wanted a pair of black high-waisted jeans for ages because I used to live in my leggings that are flared but I just don't always feel as confident to just wear leggings anymore um, so I like that these are jeans. This next item I actually picked up before Christmas I think but I think it might still be in the sale but this is from Urban Outfitters and it's this really sweet floral midi length dress. It's like a prairie style dress um, but I just loved it so much. Um, I would love it if it had a bit more fabric in the skirt. It's very flattering, it's a nice fabric, doesn't crease that much and it's easy to like make into a wintry dress with a like turtleneck underneath 
or jumper underneath and thick tights and boots and a big coat. The next few items are from And Other Stories and this is the first one. I wore it in my Instagram recently and I am oh, obsessed. It is very much a copy of Cecile Barnson. Barnson? I don't know how you say her name. And I love her stuff and I do hate it when brands copy designers but this is just so sweet a little top and it's quite expensive but it's in a really gorgeous sort of jacquardy fabric that's so like holds its shape and it's so so pretty i think this is gonna just be my go-to thing in the summer when i just want to wear like some little shorts or like some jeans and some white trainers i think this is really really sweet next up from another stories is this little blue jumper which is one of my favorite colors for red hair i think light cornflowery blue shades just look so pretty and i also chose this to go with the next item which let me just show you are i think possibly my new favorite trousers <laughs> so these are the trousers that i'm really excited to wear this jumper with they are in the blue check and they fit like a glove i'm a size 36 in and other stories um, and I'm a size 8 um, their size 8 is a 34 but it never fits me <laughs> it's always tiny um, so just a heads up size wise if you're interested in these trousers so yeah get ready for my Instagram to have this outfit on it somewhere because <laughs> very excited about it and then the final thing from and other stories and for this haul is a little bra. I actually have this in the black colourway, but I don't think they do that anymore. Um, but they bought out the white colourway for this, and I just thought it was so pretty that I had to have it. Um, they do have matching pants for this as well, if you you're interested. Um, Size-wise for this one, I went for a 40, which. I'm a 34C, I got a size 40 and it fits nicely. So yes, I think it's super, super sweet. I really love some of the underwear that and other stories bring out. It's always really pretty and very dainty. So there we have it. Those are all of the new in items in my wardrobe. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below which item you liked the most or if you have picked up a really good bargain in the sales, tell me about it in the comments down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!